Let me get you in your Bibles now. We're in John chapter number 17, 17th chapter of the Gospel of John. We were here last week. Uh, I'm back here again because there is so much in this chapter. This really is an inexhaustible section of Scripture in that there are so many powerful truths that come out of this chapter. We get an insight into who Jesus is. We get an insight into what he thought concerning his disciples. We get an insight as to his relationship with the Father. We even get an insight as to how he saw things coming together in his last days in the world. So this is a very provocative text. I want to just reread a section of it to emphasize where I'll be placing my emphasis for the next few minutes. If you would, join with me at verse number 9. The book of God reads, I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours and all mine are yours and yours are mine and I am glorified in them. Now I am no longer in the world. But these are in the world, and I come to you, Holy Father. Keep them through your name, those whom you have given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in your name. Those whom you gave me, I have kept. Uh -huh. And none of them is lost except the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Uh -huh. Who can ever show the ultimate love for people Amen. as like Jesus? Right. Right. You feel the love coming off of these pages, uh -huh. coming through these very words of Jesus. And when we realize what he was about to go through, mm -hmm. we can't help but feel the love. Mm -hmm. As Jesus echoed these words in prayer, he was in the very last hours of his life. Mm -hmm. right. He would soon be arrested. Yes, sir. He would soon be given a mock trial. Mm -hmm. He would soon be beaten, yes, bludgeoned. He would be ridiculed, spat upon. Right. Mm -hmm. He would have the very people that followed him as master and Lord right. run away from him yes, sir. Mm -hmm. and leave him by himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He would undergo a all night beating. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Only then to be taken with his back bleeding, mm -hmm. lacerations all over it. And then forced to carry uh -huh. an old rugged cross. Uh -huh. right. Then they would take him with all of these lacerations on his back. Yes, and lay that back on this splintered piece of wood. Yes, then they would nail his hands yeah. on, to the cross. Yes, they would nail his feet to the cross. Yes, Having already pierced his head with a crown of thorns. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then they would lift that cross up yeah. mm. and drop it in a hole that had already been built in the ground, mm. shaking the very flesh mm. of the Son of God, yes, sir. Well. making the nails pull a little harder mm. yeah, yeah. on the hand, a yeah. little bit deeper in the feet. Mm -hmm. right. And they would see him up there and they would pick at him. Mm. He would even have thieves on the side of him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. One of them would say, if you be who you say to be, right. why don't you get us down from here? Yeah. He would look at people who were looking at him, yes, including his own mama. Yes, yes, and he would tell John, take care of my mom. Right. Treat her like your, she's your mama. <laughs> He would deal with all that and even those who would walk by wagging their fingers. Mm. Come on, boy, come on. 
You saved others. Uh -huh. You can't save yourself. And before all of that took place, yes, he knew it would take place, yes, but he pulled over to the side and he said, I got to talk to my father. Yes, and I got to talk to him about my boys. Yes, I've got to ask him to do something yes, for my boys. Mm -hmm. He began his prayer saying things about himself. Father, it's time for me to leave here. Right. Mm -hmm. I ain't got long yeah. to stay here. But then he would say, my boys, well, well. the ones you gave me, yeah. they were yours. Uh -huh. You gave them to me. Yeah. And I'm about to come back to you. All right. And what I would like and what I would ask of you is not to take them out of the world, uh -huh. mm. but to help them out yeah. all right, all right. because I'm leaving. Yeah. Yes. I have kept them, yeah. all of them but one. Mm -hmm. mm. And I ask that you would keep them. Yeah. Mm. Now, I don't know if you are familiar with Jordan Peele. Oh, yeah. He's got some of these movies out, mm -hmm. Us. Yeah. <laughs> Them, yeah. the one word titles. Yeah, yeah. I thought I would use a one word title today <laughs> and talk to you from the subject kept. Kept. I think that's an important word in this text. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Jesus talked about, I have kept them. Mm. Now, Father, I need you to keep them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's a message out of this text that tells us something about being kept. Yeah. Right. As we open this text of scripture, we can clearly see the theme kept by Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I would ask you, who better to keep you yeah. All right, now. than Jesus? Yes, yeah, sir. We think about Jesus, we think about what he said before, I am the good shepherd. Yes, we look into this text of scripture, particularly verse number 12, uh, the Greek word translated as kept uh, means to protect yeah. by taking careful measures. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think back at what Jesus said in this verse. While I was with them in the world, I kept them mm -hmm. in your name. Yes. The name of God is not just a personal name concept, uh -huh. but all that the name implies, oh. all that God is, well. his sovereignty, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. his omniscience, yes, right. his omnipresence, yes, uh, his being almighty. Yes, omnipotent yeah. uh, that all wraps up into the name names mean something yes, Amen. and Jesus said I've kept them yes, in your name right. Right. I've kept them in your name and, and, and when I think about that I roll over to Luke chapter 2 all right. uh -huh. Luke chapter 2 in the 8th verse that same Greek word translated as kept in John 17 and 12 is used in Luke chapter 2 and verse 8 where the Bible says, now there were in some country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over the sheep. Yeah. I hear Jesus again. I am the good shepherd. Yeah. I'm not a punk shepherd. Come on, come on now. Say that. Come Say that. When the thief come, I ain't running nowhere. When the robbers come, they're not scaring me. Yeah, Nobody taking my heart. Yeah. Yes, sir. Even the wolf come, I'm right there. Right. <laughs> and I hear David saying, I shall fear no evil. Though I'm walking in the valley yeah. of the shadows of death, right. for you are with me. Mm -hmm. The shepherd keeps the sheep. Yes, right. And so Jesus said to his father, I have kept them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. But then he said, I have to go. Yes, sir. All right. I want you to keep them. Yes, sir. And when we think about this concept in John 17, there, there are at least two things we got to think about. And we have to ask ourselves, in what sense did Jesus keep the original disciples? Right. I'm glad you asked that question. Uh, uh, yeah. He kept them by protecting them from being overpowered by the human enemy. Yeah. Right. Have you ever taken the time to read and digest the Gospels? Mm -hmm. Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and then John. Have you ever taken the time to see how Jesus protected the boys right, from the human enemy? All right, all right. He kept them from personal bodily injury when they walked with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus had enemies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He had scribes against him, right. mm -hmm. Pharisees against him, right. Sadducees against him. And you say, well, how can they be enemies? Because all they had to do was bring up enough trouble. Right. And they tried to bring up enough trouble to get the mob to take out Jesus. That's right. But they weren't able to do it. Every time they tried to get him, the scripture says his hour had not yet come. But have you even noticed in the midst of that, they were always after Jesus. Jesus never gave him one of the boys. You know, a lot of people who are leaders, when they get in trouble, they feed up one of the other folks. I watched Spartacus last night. I don't mean the new Spartacus. All right, man. I mean the old Kurt Douglas yeah. Spartacus. Some of you have seen that before. I remember the scene near the end where they were trying to kill him. And they said, who is Spartacus? And before Spartacus could get up and say anything, everybody else got up. Yes, sir. I am Spartacus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> but when you think about Jesus, mm. it's a little different. Yes, yeah. Every time the enemy tried to get Jesus, Jesus never said, well, wait a minute, here's Peter. No, no. no he stood up. Yes, sir. He protected yes, he his disciples. Yes, he kept them from bodily harm and injury. He never allowed them to be taken by those that were after him. Amen. Even in the garden. When it was time to die. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Time to be arrested. The army came for Jesus. Yes, they saw all the disciples there. But they were looking for Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so they came marching up in the night. Yes, sir. Yeah. We're looking for Jesus. But first, Jesus, when he saw them coming, stepped up. Who you want? Yeah. <laughs> Who you want? Yeah. He wasn't hiding in the bushes. No, Who do you want? No, they said, we're looking for Jesus of Nazareth. All right, all right. He's, here I am. Yes, sir. And they fell back. That's what the scriptures say. They stumbled backwards, fell to the ground because Jesus wasn't afraid. Remember, he knew what was coming, but he still stood. I am he. And after they fell back, he said, now, who are you looking for? Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said, I am he. Take me. Leave the boys alone. What a man. What a leader. Yes, sir. Right. What a Lord. Right. I'm not going to let my disciples suffer this pain and agony. I'll take it myself. Yeah. Yes, no one he could say, Father, I have kept them. Yes, sir. While I was with them, I have kept them. Yes, sir. Peter didn't have to worry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> James and John didn't have to worry. Matthew didn't have to worry. The rest of them didn't have to worry because Jesus not only taught them and exemplified the way of God before them, but he kept them as well. You want a person who's going to keep you. You need to be with Jesus. But then he asked the father to keep them. 
And when we think about that section of the text, he asked the father to keep them from the supernatural enemy. You see, they had two enemies. They had the human enemy and they had a supernatural enemy. Don't you know you got two enemies in this world? You got the human enemy and we're always looking out for the human enemy. That's why when we go to bed at night, we turn that alarm on. We lock that door. Come on now. And we watch this, we watch that, because we kind of know where the human enemy might be. Yes, sir. We don't just walk down any old alley, wallet and pocketbook out, yeah, yeah. talking about counting money, <laughs> because we know the enemy <laughs> could take us out. Yes, Some of us know the enemy even in our own family members. Yeah, yeah. And we know the enemy. Uh -huh. Humanly speaking, yes, family reunion come, put up the money, <laughs> put away the good stuff. We know the human enemy, on, but we often don't pay attention to the supernatural enemy. All right, all right. He's the one you can't see with your naked eye. He's the one that's around all the time. He is the one you really need to watch. So Jesus asked the Father to keep them from the supernatural enemy. Look at verse 15 of John 17. I don't pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. We're talking to Satan. Yes, sir. We're talking about Satan here. Yes, Jesus wanted the Father to keep them from the devils overpowering them. Yes, Brown, how do you know it? I want you to look at another text. Mm -hmm. Luke chapter 22, verses 31 and 32. The Lord said, Simon, Simon, Satan's asked for you. Well, well. He wants to sift you like wheat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I prayed for you. Yes, sir. I prayed for you, Peter. I prayed for you that in the midst of the devil asking for you and trying to get a hold of you, that your faith not fail. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Peter, when the devil finishes picking in your life mm -hmm. and you return to me, I need you to strengthen your brothers. Yes, sir. All right, that's it. Are you struggling this morning? Some of us have been struggling. Yes, sir. Come on now. We've been struggling for a while. Yes, sir. Some of us were struggling the minute the pandemic hit. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Some of us were struggling before the pandemic hit. Right. Some of us are struggling and it seemed to have caught us off guard. Yes, sir. It just came upon us. I watched a video the, just the other few hours ago of these people on a beach. And they were enjoying the beach, but nobody paid attention right away to that water spot. Yeah. that was forming out over the ocean. Yeah. And the water spout came closer and closer. And why people just stood there and watched it on the camera, I don't know. <laughs> it finally came ashore, and then they started to run. Come on now. Some of us don't pay attention. Well, well. And if we pay attention, we don't take heed. Right now. And so the devil is trying to get a hold of us. And he got some of us. Yes, sir. Well... I know he's got some of us. Oh mm -hmm. Brown, how do you know he got some of us? He gets hold of me too. Yes, sir. All right, all right. You know how he does it? Same way he did with Job. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bible talks about Job. A man of God. Right. But the devil went up to father, to father. The devil went before God and, and, and he wanted Job. Yeah. God said, have you considered my servant Job? But first God said, where you been? Yeah. Mm. He knew where he was. Yeah. Well. Job said, I, the devil said, I've been rocking all through the earth. Yeah. Uh -huh. I've been looking for some folk I can jump on. Yeah. I'm not concerned about jumping on the folk I already own. Yeah. I want some of your folk. Yeah. I want some of your folk. Yeah. If you allow me to modernize it, I want some of those Christians. Yeah. Uh -huh. I want some of those members of the churches of Christ. Yeah. I want some of them. Yeah. I don't want the ones that have one foot out the door and the other one in the building. Yeah. You know, we do have some of them. Yeah. 
We do have those who kind of live a little bit for Jesus and a lot of bit for the world. We, we do have some of them. The ones that show up every now and again. The ones that get serious about God every now and again. We do have some of them. Devil ain't gonna, he, he don't want to chase them. Here you have them. Brian, how do you know he has them? Jesus said, if you're not with me, you're against me. Right. You're not all in, you all out. Well. But I want those that are really dedicated to a Christian life. I want some of them. Mm. None of us have an ear to heaven's conversation. We can't see that side. Right. Don't let these false preachers fool you. Come on, man. I talked to God the other night. I was in heaven talking to him and talking to the angels. I sat in the barbershop chair of Gabriel. He gave me an air cut. And, and, and then I had a chiclet with, with the apostle Peter. <laughs> don't listen to that foolishness. We don't have vision on that side of the world, if you will. That side uh, on the other side of this realm. So we don't know the conversations that take place up there. All right, all right. But can I tell you, I bet you there's somebody in this building whose name has come up. Yes, sir. Well, come on. I bet you there's somebody yes. whose name has come up. Come on. I bet you there's a few folks who the devil said, I want to get after that one. All right, all right. I want that one. I see him or her and I want that one. I bet you I can make them quit. Yeah. Mm. I bet you I can make them turn themselves against you. Uh -huh. I bet you I can make them tear up the church. All right. Let me get at them. Preach, boy. And Jesus said to Peter, the devil's asking for you. All right. All right. He's asking for you. On, Notice what Jesus didn't say. He didn't say to Peter, I said to the father, please, uh, uh, don't, you, you, you can't have Peter. That's not what he said. He said, the devil's asking for you. He wants to sift you like wheat. All right. Bible doesn't say that they didn't get a chance because he did get a chance. He took Peter warming by the fire. Washing, you know, getting his hands warm. Looking at Jesus being tried, Amen. he got into Peter's heart. Yeah. He took his heart. Uh -huh. mm. Somebody said, don't you know that man in there getting beaten up? Uh -huh. mm. I, I've never seen him. Oh. I don't know him. Somebody else. What? And I think I saw you. Yeah. You were hanging with him. Uh -huh. I know I saw you. Yeah. All right, all right. It wasn't me. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I know I saw you. He began to curse and swear. Yeah. I don't know the man. Yeah. Same man. On, that healed that woman, your mother-in-law. Yes, Same man that walked with you, yes, talked with you. Yes, Same man that when you were drowning in the water because you lost your faith, yeah. saved you. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Same man. All right. Same man. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, you don't know him? All right. All right. All right. I can imagine Jesus looking at Peter and Peter's heart breaking mm. uh -huh. because Peter was the one that was bad. Yes, sir. You let him come at you, Jesus. Yes, sir. I got you. Yes, sir. All right. I got you. Yeah. They come after you. They got to get through me. And now I don't know you. All right. Oh, the devil got to him. Come on, yes, sir. And he began the sifting process. Yes, sir. Who in here has the devil gotten to? All right. Well, well. Only you can answer that question. Yes, sir. You're right, brother. But he's after folk. Yes, sir. And he wants to sift like wheat. Yes, but thank God. Jesus said to Peter, I've asked the Father. Yes, sir. That you not allow, he not allow your faith to be taken from you. Right, that your faith fail not. Yes, and Peter, after you go through your trial and you come out on the other side, because I know you're going to make it, man. When you come on the other side, go find somebody else yes, and help that person. Yes, amen, amen. You know the job, or one of the jobs of members of the church is 
to look out and lift somebody else up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Edify somebody else. Right. It's not about getting your own way. Right. Not about my Lord strengthen me, Dickerson. Hey. Mm -hmm. No, it's about one another. Yes, right, right. And so the devil tried to overpower Peter. He didn't get him. And the devil tried to overpower Job. He didn't get him. And the devil wants you. Yes, mm -hmm. But Jesus prayed in John 17. Yes, sir. Father, keep them. Yes, yes. I can't be on earth with them anymore. Nobody has seen Jesus. Amen. Right Nobody here. No, sir. You haven't seen him. No. Let me tell you something else. Nobody living right now Amen. has ever seen Jesus. Right, My grandmama saw him. No, she didn't. <laughs> she did not. Right. Nobody living today it, has ever physically seen Jesus. Right. No, sir. Now he sees us, yes, sir. Uh -huh. but we don't see him. Amen. And yet he prayed for the Father to keep us. Yes, oh, I'm so glad mm -hmm. that Jesus right. has prayed. Mm -hmm. The only exception to the ones that God gave Jesus right. that didn't make it was Judas. Right. Now I want you to think about something perhaps you hadn't thought about it before. Jesus said, all these you've given me, they were yours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gave them to me. Right. I'm giving them back, except one. Mm -hmm. That'll let you know there was a guy who belonged to God, That's right. mm -hmm. who chose no longer. Come on, Michael. To belong to God. Right. Did you get that? Yeah. All of these, all twenty, they were yours. Yeah. You gave them to me. I kept them. I'm giving them back. Nothing happened to any of them except one. Yeah. Mm. But remember, he was first God's. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, well. Oh, he chose not to be anymore, right. but he first was God's. Yes, right. Don't you tell me that everybody who comes out of the waters of baptism will stay with the Lord. Yes, Some folk won't do it. That's right. They get distracted, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. discouraged, mm -hmm. disappointed, uh -huh. devilish. Right. Judas didn't make it. He was the son of perdition, the one destined for destruction. But this was his personal choice. God didn't bring Judas into the world and say, oh, you're going to be lost because you don't have any choice. No man is lost. No woman is lost by accident. It's a choice. It's a deliberate choice. Yeah. Judas wasn't protected by Jesus because he didn't want to be protected right. by Jesus. All right. All right. He thought the money was more important than Jesus. Right. Mm -hmm. John chapter 12 and verse number 6 Judas complained about some oil that was oh, yeah. used yeah. Yes, for the Lord. Right. And he said uh, should have taken should have taken this so it can be used for the poor. Uh -huh. Jesus, the word says, not that he cared for the poor, All right. but because he was a thief yeah. yes, sir. and he had the money box yeah. and he used to take what was put in it. Yeah. That is. Some of us can't deal with money. All right. All right, now. It's too much of a temptation for us. Uh, some of us can't deal with popularity. Right. It's too much of a temptation for us. Yes, right, all right. Some of us can't deal with position. Man. It's too much for us. All right. Some of us can't deal with other things we desire. Have you ever wondered sometimes why you don't have, why we don't have what sometimes we really want? All right, all right. God knows us. He knows now. If I give you this, I know I won't see you again. That's good, huh? All right. I used to always tease my late wife about wanting to sing like Teddy Pendergrass. <laughs> wanting to sing like uh, the guy that used to sing for the Dells. Had that long note. Oh. Babe. 
he's yelling the word. <laughs> Stay in the corner. Yes, sir. And we would joke back and forth about it, and she would say, that's just why you don't have that. Because you wouldn't know how to act right. All right, all right, all right. Me in the pool pit cutting the fool. Uh -huh. Some of us don't get what we ask for. All right. Because then the Lord won't have us anymore. All right. Man. He just won't. That's right. right. It's something about us. We often want what we know we don't need. Yeah. yeah. Judas wanted what he knew he shouldn't have. Right. He wanted to have money. And therefore, he did not make it. Judas' lost state wasn't a surprise to Jesus. No, sir. Right. Jesus wasn't shocked. No, he wasn't. Right. Jesus knew who he was when he met him. Right. Oh, I don't think you got that one. <laughs> who would you take into your inner circle if you knew that person was going to stab you in the back? All right. All right. All right. Jesus, he knew, he knew Judas. Yeah. Yes, sir. And yet he brought him in. Mm -hmm. Right. He brought him in knowing full well this guy is going to stab me in my back. Uh -huh. I don't think I could have taken that. Uh -oh. I don't know if you could have taken that. Right. He is the one that at the final supper, Lord, who's, who is it? Who is it? The one that sops with me. Mm -hmm. We're going to sit here and we're going to eat together. We're going to share in a fellowship meal together. And we're going to sop. We put our food in these shared bowls. And we're going to sop out together. And Judas, Judas and I, we're going to eat together. Right. I'm looking at him. Yeah. Eye to eye. I yes, and I know what he's going to do to me. Yeah, Therefore, man, what you're going to do, go ahead. Yes, sir. Do it quickly. Yes. Do it quickly. Oh. Don't you tell me. That you can't have Christians who won't try to do you in. Amen. Yes, sir. Well, as we examine this thing a little further, we see the scriptures declared that Judas wouldn't make it. You and I just can't us underestimate God's foreknowledge. Oh, it's a powerful thing. Right. We play checkers. God plays chess. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, now, in what way does Jesus keep us? It's not always in keeping us from physical harm. All right. Or even the pain of suffering in this world. All right. Jesus doesn't keep us from that. All right. All right, all right. One of the problems I have with modern day popular Christianity is this don't worry, be happy mess. Mm -hmm. You get in there, you're told feel good things all day long. Hype you up with some nice contemporary music. Oh, yeah, Jesus is wonderful. Tell you that God's going to give you everything. Oh, yes, praise the Lord. <laughs> roll you out after they get your money. All right. Mm. And then roll you back in the next time. Uh -huh. Give your kids a playground to play in. Oh, good time. I didn't come to Jesus to go to Great Adventure. All right. Well, well. Came to Jesus to go on the Great Adventure. Come on. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Jesus keeps us today. All right. The Father keeps us today in similar ways. He keeps us in the sense of keeping the devil on the leash. Yeah, some of us go walking. You go past some folk walking their dog. Dog want to get at you. Am I talking to myself here? <laughs> no. You end up walking because you don't know. Some folk walk the dog and the dog break loose. And then they have a nerve to say, he won't bite. That is a crazy statement. Make me want to pull out a, let me move on. Jesus keeps us. By keeping the devil on a leash, yeah, boy, it is also the same idea where we are kept by God in a very powerful way through faith. Amen. I'm in 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3. The Bible says, 
Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that does not fade away. Listen now, reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith. There's nothing you go through that faith can't conquer. That's right, that's right. Let me say it again. There's nothing you go through that faith can't conquer. One more time modified. There's nothing you're going through that faith can't conquer. No wonder Jesus told Peter, the devil wants you. I pray the Father that your faith fail not. And when you are strengthened, strengthen your brothers. Yeah, we are kept by the power of God through faith. You sick? You can be kept by the power of God right. through faith. Faith doesn't mean the Lord's going to heal me. All right. Faith means like those three Hebrew boys. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. That's it, if God decides, mm -hmm. we can get out of this. Yes, and even if, if he let us burn up. Right. If this earthly temple tabernacle be destroyed. Yeah. Got a fresh new one. Yes, sir. Better than the first one. Hey. Not made with hands. Hey. Yes, sir. There's nothing you're going through, church, on, that you can't overcome right. by faith. Amen. The term kept here means to provide security to God, to protect, as like with Job, as like with Peter, we have God's power keeping us from turning away. But the question is, Will we maintain our faith? Yes, we are kept by God. We are kept by Jesus. But then let me hasten on quickly and let you know we are kept for Jesus. In John 17 and 10, Jesus said, all are, or all mine are yours and yours are mine and I am glorified in them. Not only are we kept by Jesus, but we are kept for Jesus. All right. yeah. You know what Jesus wants from you and from me? He wants us to glorify him. Right. Yeah. Now to glorify uh, in his elemental terms is the idea of shining. Right. Come on now. Some of us are familiar with the Old Testament concept of the Shekinah glory. Mm -hmm. The presence of God is so bright. So shining. What God wants us to do, what the Father wants us to do, is glorify the Son. What the Son wants us to do is glorify the Father. How do we glorify God? We glorify God by living like we got heaven sense. Come on now. Now we got a lot of world sense. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got a lot of world sense. All right, man. You do too. Uh -huh. You know how it works in this world. Uh, P.D. kind of mentioned it a little bit today. He used different words, but the same concept. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Yeah. I got to do you before you do me. <laughs> That's what Jacob's sons were talking about. Right. If you heard the lesson this morning, yes, you did this to our sister. Oh, you got us that time, but we're going we gonna to get you back. Yeah. It's coming. That's the way it works. I got world sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got world sense. Come on, man. Come on, that's right. And you and I know how to operate in the world. Yeah. World sense. Mm -hmm. But can we operate by heaven's yes. sense? Mm -hmm. We need to operate by heaven's sense. And when we operate by heaven's sense, we bring glory to the Lord. Yeah, that's right. Folk look at us and they go, man, you, you're some kind of different. Yeah. You're some kind of different. Yes, sir. And you're a different cat. I, I ain't seen folk act that way. All right, All right. <laughs> Guy came to me some time ago. He said, man, what would you do? I know you're trying to live for the Lord, but what would you do if a woman came up to you and just came aggressively and just started kissing all over you, <laughs> feeling all over your chair. What would you do? Mm -hmm. All right. I have to get away, man. Yeah. Right now. I got to get away and stop that right quick. Yes, sir. Right. So, you would really do that? <laughs> so, yeah, man. All right. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> 
You know, you have to have heaven sense yes, and know that a few moments of pleasure can give you an eternity in hell. You got to have heaven sense to know that the Lord who died for you, whose heart would be broken if you act a fool. You got to have heaven sense. They say, no, there's something greater. And I want the greater. I want the greater. Yes, we glorify the Lord. Let me give you a quick text of scripture. Now hasten on. It's interesting that when Jesus said, they have glorified me, he's talking about men who weren't imperfect. Right. That's right. These disciples that Jesus said, they have glorified me. These are the same guys hiding. Yeah, that's right. Up in, in, in the upper room. Uh -huh. When Jesus comes through the door without coming through the door. <laughs> They're the same guys. Amen. I mean, ducking and hiding behind locked doors. But Jesus said at this time, they have glorified me. I'm so glad I don't have to be perfect Amen. to glorify the Lord. Amen. I don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect to glorify the Lord. Just be faithful. Amen. If you're faithful, the perfection will take care of itself. Yeah. Be faithful. For 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 11 and 12, Therefore we also pray always for you that our God would not count or would count you worthy of his calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you. Right. Westview. I'll talk to you in a little while about where we are with building plans and all that. Mm -hmm. But you know what's more important to me? All right. What are people learning about Jesus yeah, 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 yeah. from how we live? Right. That's really where it's at. That's more important to me. Yes, what do people who live around the say? when it comes to how they have learned something about Jesus from us. That's more important to me. All the other stuff, that's fine, that's cool, that's good. But are we making any impact on people's lives to bring them closer to the Lord? That's the more important thing. If we are not glorifying God, if that is not our goal in life, then let's quit. <laughs> What's the point? All right, all right. There's no point. Mm -hmm. It's got to be to glorify God because we are kept by Jesus and we're kept for Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The rep of Jesus can't take a hit because we can't live right. Mm. Say that. We got to live right, Amen. right to give him glory. Amen. And then lastly, not only are we kept by Jesus and kept for Jesus, but we're kept with Jesus. All right. mm -hmm. We're kept with Jesus. Yeah. Well, Brian, where are you going with that one? You and I have a destiny. All right. We do. And as children of God, we got the same destiny. Right. That destiny is to be kept with Jesus. And when he comes back, to be glorified along with Jesus. Amen. That's what that destiny is. Now, 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 what do we mean when we talk about that in this sense? The concept is that down here, we have imperfection. Down here, we have weaknesses. Down here, let me break it down more clearly. We got language problems. Yeah. We say stuff we shouldn't be saying. Come on, come on. Down here, we got jealousy problems. Yeah, we have green eyes that we weren't born with. Right. Yeah, Down here, we have envy problems. Yeah, Down here, we have temper problems. Yeah. Down here, we have morality problems and ethical problems. Down here, we are not ready for heaven. Yeah. Come on. That's why we're still here. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's why we're still here. All right. We're not down here for the benefit of the spectators. No, sir. Come on now. Lord didn't say, Brown is so good. Well. I got to leave him down there so other folk can learn how to be as good as he is. Mm. Ooh, that's a bad place to be. <laughs> it's a bad place to be. Yes, sir. We're here to make our calling and our election sure. Right. 
And so our imperfection cannot get with Jesus right. down here. That's right. Man. Not only that, these physical bodies, uh -huh. they can't get with Jesus. That's right. right. They can't get with Jesus right down here. And so we need to get to the point where we are glorified with Jesus. What does it mean, Brown? It means that down here we continue to be molded and shaped into the image of Christ Jesus. And then later on, when Jesus comes again, we get changed all the way. Amen. Now this I say, brethren, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit cor incorruption. Hold, I tell you, mystery. We shall not all sleep, but some shall be changed. We will all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. The incorruptible or the corruptible must put on incorruption. That blood pressure problem you got, that limp you got, that hip that won't get right, that knee that screams every time it rings, that liver problem, that kidney problem, that heart problem, that medication, all that stuff is going to go one day. When is that, Brown? When Jesus comes again right. and he brings us with him, we are glorified. We come out of the grave. Yeah, yeah, we meet yeah. the Lord in the air. Yeah, no lumbago anymore. No back problems anymore. Yeah. No problems anymore. Lead a medicine in the medicine cabinet. Yeah. Stuff's going to get all burned up. Yes, Man. We'll be with the Lord. Behold, John says, yeah. what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us that we should be called children of God. Therefore, the world doesn't know us because it didn't know him, beloved. Now we are the children of God. It has not yet been revealed what we shall be. But we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. What do we do in the meantime? If we have that hope, let's get our act together down here. Yeah, we're going to be kept with Jesus. And so, church, we can have every confidence that God will fulfill his purpose in us and with us. We can have every confidence that we are being kept. We can have every confidence that God will keep that which we have committed unto him right. against that day. Yeah. You're down today, you're being kept. Yes, sir. You're down yesterday, you're being kept. Right. You're going to be down tomorrow, you're being kept. Yeah. Hold on to your faith yes, and let the God who keeps us keep on keeping us. Amen. That's why you need to be a Christian today. Yes, you need to bow down today and believe that Jesus died for your sins. Amen. You need to be willing not only to believe that, but to change the way you think about life yes, and accept the way he tells you to live life. That's called repentance. You need to be willing to say, I believe Jesus is the son of God. And you need to be willing to get out of the clothes you're in, put on the baptismal clothes, get in the water, and have your sins washed away. And you can do that today. Amen. You don't need to wait till tomorrow. Amen. Today is the day of salvation. Yes, today, if you heard his voice, yeah. don't harden your heart. It, but today come to Jesus. If you're here in this building today and you want to come to Jesus, let it be known by just raising your hand. We're going to sing one verse of a song to encourage your response as we sing. Amen.